Here are some helpful shortcuts in GameMaker that you might not know about. Hold P to pick an instance from any layer in the room editor. This is really useful if, like me, you have way too many layers in the room editor and that you struggle to remember what's on which layer because you're not very organized. You might already know that if you click on this box, you can actually pick an instance from any layer in the room editor, but you can also just hold P to activate this at any time. You can also use that to click on tiles as well. Control T to search through resources. This is a classic one, really, really helpful, uh, especially when your project gets to be of a certain size. There's a threshold over which it just becomes easier to press Control T, start typing the name of your resource and then press enter uh, than it is to scroll through the asset browser looking for whatever it is you're looking to edit. Press F12 to minimize windows. I use this all the time in tutorials uh, just to sort of clear away all the kind of um, space that can be taken up by various inspectors and tabs and windows and things like that if you just want to focus on a piece of code or in the room editor or whatever it is and you press F12 and that just minimizes all your side docs. Really, really useful. Middle click and F1. So as I'm sure you probably know or hopefully no, pressing F1 will bring up the manual, but if you highlight a particular function and press F1, uh, it'll bring up the manual at the page for that particular function. Uh, the same will happen if you middle click on that function as well. Really, really useful, super important to know. Control F to search and replace in code. This is obviously really common across all kinds of code editors, text editors, and so on, but pressing Control F brings up a little search bar, um, and if you unfold it here, you can also do uh, search and replace, so that means you can just like swap one word for another word uh, in your code. Really, really useful. Also, if you highlight a word and press Control H, that will add that word to the search uh, and replace thing uh, by itself, so that's really helpful as well. Obviously, this just works with one particular script or event or whatnot, but if you press Control shift f uh, that brings up the global search and replace. Extremely important to know about. Um, really, really useful if you need to refactor or change a variable name like across your whole project. And you can do a search um, and it will show you the results down here and you can see everywhere where your search result is found throughout the project. Really, really helpful. You can specify whole word, ignore comments, etc. Absolutely vital tool for doing any kind of refactoring in your project. And here's a couple that I didn't even know about. Uh, Control D will duplicate a line of code that you're on. Really, really useful. Say if you've been you know, grabbing the mouse, selecting the thing, copy and paste, just press Control D. Copy it a whole bunch of times. Alt and click to select vertically. You can select lines vertically in your code. Um, that's a really useful thing I never knew existed either. And a big one for Game Maker that I also didn't know about is pressing Control Shift and a number will actually place a bookmark uh, into your code. And then pressing Control on that number later will jump straight back to that piece of code wherever it was you left off. You can do this with numbers one through nine, and some people swear by this. Um, I've, I've never really used it before, I really knew it existed, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to work that into my own workflow as well. Control tab is also really useful for shifting between recently active windows, um, just moving between all the things instead of you know, if you get lost, um, which is like the tabs at the top and the workspaces and all that good stuff. You can just press control tab and that gives you kind of an overview of everything that's open right now. Also really useful. I'm sure there's a ton more as well as a million and one different keyboard shortcuts and things uh, in Game Maker that are hidden that you can customize and preferences and all that good stuff. Uh, if you know any that you think are really, really useful, please post them down in the comments below. Hope you all learned something from that. Thank you very much for my patrons for funding what I do. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll catch you all next time.